What's up guys, it's your girl Hypnotic Lady and I am back with another tutorial. Here I'm going to show you guys how I slay this wig. Y'all get into it, get into it. What lace? <laughs> like you already know sis, like you see how I'm coming. So stay tuned and if you guys want to see how I completed this look, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell. All right, the company I will be working with today is Shantae Ashi. I don't know how to pronounce that, y'all. Lace wig. This is their 20 inch kinky curly lace front wig. It is 13 by six, and it comes with an adjustable elastic band and adjustable straps, two combs on the side, one in the front and one in the back. Of course, I'm going to be using my handy dandy ghost bond to do my install. Like I always do, you guys want to do two or three coats of this glue using your blow dryer in between. Make sure that the glue is completely clear before you add another layer. This part is optional, but I've seen this technique used on YouTube and I just like to go over my layers of glue with a thin layer of got to be glued free spray and I hit it instantly with my dryer and I just use this as like, I don't know, like a little safety net um, to make sure the glue and everything is set. And then after that is done, you want to go ahead and proceed to lay your wig down. Once you have your lace sectioned off, I like to go in with my razor comb or eyebrow razor, whichever one you want to call it, and then I cut off my excess lace. This leaves more of a natural edge than using scissors going straight across. Y'all, as you can see, like, look at this lace. Like, y'all, it's melted. Melted, sis. Now I'm gonna go back in with my got to be glued free spray and then just spray the perimeter of my hairline one more time just to make sure everything is laid down flat and seamless. Y'all, I don't know how many times I done filmed where I thought my lace was done, like my glue was dry and it really wasn't and that motherfucker lift up. So this acts like an extra barrier for you with your glue. Once you go over it lightly, like I don't use that much, like maybe two or three spritz um, and then I just lightly press down my lace with my rat tail comb and use my blow dryer on cool high.
Again, like I said, sis, what lace? What motherfucking lace, sis? And again, y'all, this is a 13 by 6. So you can do deep side parts and deep middle parts. Here, I'm just showing you guys the amount of parting space you can do on either side. Now for the baby hairs, you already know, I'm gonna go in with my Got To Be Glued yellow bottle and I'm just gonna take an edge control brush that I have and I'm just going to do a little simple swoop, you know, like that there. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this going down on both sides of the perimeter. Um, just like to play with it until you get like your perfect swoop. So many people ask me all the time, like, could you do a baby hair tutorial? And y'all, I noticed in this video after I got done that um, in the front, my two baby hairs, one of them was thicker than the other. And y'all, I go in and fix that like after the video. So I guess this really doesn't even matter. But yeah, I just wanna let y'all know that I did know that one of my baby hairs was thicker than the other, but it's okay though. As you can see, they're laying very nicely, but yeah, just, Take you a rat tail comb, some got to be, um, or whatever type of gel or adhesive you like to use for your baby hairs and lay them hairs, girl. Lay them. This part is optional, but I like to go in with my free spray and my hot comb and just slick everything back by my hairline. I don't know, I like that slick back look. I don't know what to call it. I just love the way it looks when it's pushed back a little bit um, and then it just folds over to frame your face. So yeah, um, if you do wanna follow these steps, you know, just follow me like so. And just like that, sis, edges on fleek, baby hair is on fleek. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my water bottle and I just have a little bit of conditioner. I think I have like Tresemme conditioner. I don't use anything expensive. And yeah, so I just have that in my water bottle and I'm just gonna lather the hair and get it wet and then detangle it with my metal detangling brush. And I got this spray bottle and my brush from my local beauty supply store for I think like 99 cents each. Um, check around for your local beauty supply store if you need these exact products.
This part is optional as well, but I like to go in and add just a little bit of leave-in moisturizer or cream moisturizer and my curly hair units. Um, as you see, I'm just gonna put that all through the hair just so it can hold its um, defined curl pattern. I don't want it to look frizzy and big. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with this and then my foam and that will complete the look. This lace is melted to the gods, y'all. Melted, giving me nothing but scalp, y'all. And again, this is the company. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Shanti or Shianti um, Lace Wigs. This is uh, their QR codes right here. This is um, their 20 inch 13 by six lace front wig. I believe this is a water wave texture and then it is a custom color um, attached to the wig. It just came with this little card and then it has the information on the back. Um, this SKU, um, which I'm assuming is the style. The style is HH30Z228. Um, it is 20 inches long. The color is a um, 10P, but obviously it's highlights and lowlights, like a brown, mixture of brown, honey brown, honey blonde, and then the density is 150 density. I'm going to show you guys how long it is on me. Stretched out, it comes to, I'd say, my ribs. And then not stretched out comes to like my boobs. So it's pretty long. Um, Y'all, this wig did so good with bleaching. Y'all, I love this texture. It's so silky, but at the same time, like it gives you um, that kinky curly kind of texture. Like it doesn't feel like bone straight hair, like silky bone straight hair, but the curls are so soft. And as you can see, you can see the colors um, in the detail. They're super cute, super vibrant, and I didn't custom color this, y'all. It comes like this. And the wig does come pre-plucked, and I did not have to pluck this unit at all. All I did was go in and bleach the knots off camera. It did come pre-plucked, and then all I did was when I um, went in and did my baby hairs, I Plucked it just a little bit more, just to thin them out, just a little bit to my preference. But overall, I would give this wig a 10 out of 10. Very beginner friendly. Like I said, it did come pre-plucked. Um, and then all I did had to do was bleach the knots off camera. It does come with two combs on the side, one in the back, and then an adjustable strap that, well, no, I'm sorry, adjustable strap in the back, and then it comes with an adjustable strap, which is an elastic band. Like, it's the elastic band, but you can adjust it, which is also neat. So, this is the back of the wig. And the colors go all the way through the wig, which I think is another plus. Y'all, another thing with companies is, like, when they do custom colors or they send you colored wigs, it seems like the color only be in the front area and it don't really be in the back but with this they did it all over which is so cute yeah this style was so quick and easy and this install was so quick and easy again y'all this is shantae wigs and you can find them at uh shantaelacewig.com i think they are also available on aliexpress um, I will list both of the links down below in the description bar. Just make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.